Uh, this is the agenda for this afternoon. It is, uh, first I'm going to say a little bit about the Qt and Education program, give you an overview of that. Then um, uh, Knut here, my colleague, he's going to uh, talk about uh, uh, the user experience on mobile and looking into what's cooking nowadays. Then uh, <coughs> we have um, Dominique here, also in the front row, who is from, uh, I always have to pra <laughs> practice this, Upper Austria University of Applied Sciences, Hagenberg. Uh, and then, uh, so he's going to talk uh, a bit about how they use Qt at the, their university. So please move to the front as you come in. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we have a short break. And uh, after that, we have um, Bernhardt, who is sitting there, who will talk from the University of Stuttgart, talk about how they use Qt for teaching or teach Qt, other way around, or both ways. And uh, then uh, we're going to touch, uh, um, I'll talk a little bit about the Qt course material that's been developed over the, the past year. And uh, Johan, who's not arrived yet, but is on his way from Italy, <laughs> uh, and um, uh, we'll talk, uh, we'll give you a run through of that and what we've done there and how it can be used. Then there's another break, and then we have uh, a talk uh, from someone all the way from Singapore, Melvin, there, yeah. Uh, they also use Qt at the Nanyang Polytechnic in Singapore, so that will be exciting. And uh, I think I skipped actually one presentation from Tony about the, is Tony here? Yeah, there at the back. Uh, that's, I should point, maybe. Pointer works. There, there. <laughs> course material. So it's a, a sort of an extension to the Qt course material, but uh, focus on how to develop applications, for mobile applications with Qt. And that course material. And then, if we're not too exhausted, and I hope you're not too exhausted <laughs> by then, we we're. Uh, I'd like to involve you a bit in discussion of what do we do with the Qt um, in education program moving on. And uh, so there will be a discussion at the end. And then there is a welcome reception by uh, sponsored by Kieto that will be downstairs in the evening. And I hope that we will have time to continue to talk more there and, uh, and that you'll join us there. Okay. So, who is Hanna? That's me. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have a background in computer science, so uh, I know some of the technical sides of Qt over the years. I'm from Norway, Oslo. I'm based there, in the Nokia office there. Uh, I've been around Qt for a long time now. I almost stopped counting the years. Uh, so, which means that I, uh, I've yeah, well, I can say at least that when I started uh, in Trolltech uh, working for Qt, uh, we were 50 people working all, all over the world. And now, look at this. This is amazing. We're like 50 listeners in this room. And uh, Qt is all over the place. Everybody's talking about Qt. And I, I really like to see the way Qt is exceeding and succeeding and uh, hope. Uh, yeah, hope to do that even more through through this program. So now uh, I've had many different roles. Uh, like I said, I joined Trolltech first, and as you know, Trolltech was acquired by Nokia uh, June 2008. Um, so I joined in with that, and um, and I've had many different roles. But now, since uh, April 2009, I've been uh, program manager for this Qt and Education program. Also, when I'm not at work, I like to travel and ski and read books, and also spend time with my family. So, oh. <laughs> Okay, back to the Qt and Education program. 
I run through, the, um, I'd like to talk about the following points. What is our mission with the Keeping Education program? There are also other parts of Nokia that are working towards academic institutions. And I'd like to give you a bit of an overview of that because it can sometimes be a bit confusing. Talk a little bit about what's, uh, what's happened with Keeping Education, the Keeping Education program over the last years and uh, show you also show you some examples of how CUTE is being used for education. And then uh, also the tools that we have available. Are there any questions along the way? Are you, does this look okay? Yeah. <laughs> I hope at least that when, when, uh, this, uh, when we end this day that you be inspired to use CUTE even more and that, uh, or start using Qt for education if you're not doing it already. So uh, the Qt in Education program, we have that to support educational institutions that would like to use Qt uh, for teaching purposes. Uh, the way we are doing that right now is to enable networking so that you guys can talk with each other and get ideas from each other and share material that you have or ideas that you have. Um, also, uh, we've develop we developed some reference materials and we have some tools available that uh, are there for you to use. And um, we can also do some, we've done and, and can do some training days or like kickstart on Qt, so get uh, uh, teachers up to speed on Qt so that it's easier for, uh, for you or them to, to use Qt within, uh, within education. And uh, also, of course, support local initiatives that take place or other initiatives that uh, work, work towards education. Um, So the goal, the goal is that, st that students graduate with, uh, with knowledge that is useful for them moving on, right? And I think that's, uh, of course, the goal of Nokia sort of, uh, is that Qt is used as, as much as possible and that, that, uh, uh, and that we grow that ecosystem. But I also strongly believe that Qt is a very useful tool and, and it is, uh, like it says here, soon on over 50 million mobile phones, you'll soon on be on all the Nokia smart smartphones. Um, so it is very useful to know something about. Um, Qt is in increasingly pop pop popular and uh, this small graph uh, just at the bottom shows the, the way the or is a, a number of job ads for Qt C++ and how that is growing in comparison to .NET and Java. So it is increasingly popular and, uh, and sort of the future as we see it. Uh, also the licensing, uh, our licensing model very much supports all areas. So we have an open source license at the same time we have a commercial license. This means that you can use Qt freely as you know using the LDL and VTL. But at the same time, uh, businesses can use Qt in a closed environment if they don't want to, to share the changes, if they're like business secrets in the way they change Qt, they, they will want to buy a commercial license and use that instead. Um, there are Qt, um, I've mentioned mobile phones here, but Qt is actually used in 70 different industries in over 70 different industries. And uh, there's a, de I don't know if you've seen already, but there are, there's a, um, a demo area downstairs where you can see many of the uses of Qt. And I encourage you to go and have a look there. Um, some, some are shown here, like a coffee machine, where you can go and have a coffee, cup of coffee from <laughs> favorite example of many <laughs> presenters here, I think. But yeah, projectors, uh, Google, Skype, yeah, you name it. You can go and have a look and find out. You see many names that you know already here. So Qt is used 
in many, many different ways. And uh, even though we're n we are now Nokia, it uh, doesn't mean that we don't also encourage use on in many different in industries. Uh, okay, so these are some of the parts of Nokia that are working towards universities and academia. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm representing, or here at Cute Development uh, Developer Days, uh, is run by Nokia Cute Development Frameworks. And then uh, we have Forum Nokia. Uh, we have some representatives here, I think. Yeah, Yarmo is there. Yes. Good, and someone at the back. <laughs> don't, don't know yet. Uh, and also Nokia Research Centers. Oh, and Andreas is here as well. You can wave your hand. Yeah, also from <laughs> Nokia. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So the way uh, way we sort of st structure is that the Cute Development Nokia Cute Development Frameworks focuses on Cute, so Cute generic, Cute on all. In the different platforms and all industries. Uh, of course, also on mobile phones, but not only. Uh, Forum Nokia focuses on, on uh, the development environment for N Nokia devices. So that, of course, also includes Qt and uh, more and more about Qt, but uh, for Nokia platforms. And then the Nokia Research Centers focus on research, preferably for coming or current uh, Nokia devices, and that could also involve Qt. But I hope this sort of gives you a bit of an overview of the different areas. I'm sure some of you are talking to many people within Nokia. This uh, timeline shows a little bit about uh, what happened? What has been happening? Um, some of the a sample of some of the achievements over the years. Um, when <coughs> before Nokia acquired Trolltech, uh, we had uh, we also uh, focused on cute and cute in education, but then it was more part of the community program. And Knut, our community manager, sort of tried to hold a little bit of that at the same time as he's doing all the ef other efforts. So it was actually um, in April, May 2009 uh, when I got the, uh, this job as program manager for Cute and Education program, the first time we had one dedicated person to work on, on Cute and Education. So I think that's really great to be able to, uh, to spend a little more time on it. Um, and last year at the Cute Developer Days was actually the first time we had the Cute and Education track at Cute Developer Days. Were there many of you who were here then? A year ago? A few, yay! <laughs> Good. Um, we've also done, I come back again to the course materials, but that's shown there, and um, we've actually had five, or it's a bit, the statistics aren't complete, but I think we can see around 5,000 downloads so far of the cute course material, which I think is a really good thing. And uh, we are now almost, uh, or we have around 10% of the to of top universities, top technical universities in the world that use cute. And of course there are many, many, uh, yeah, well, so I think we're around 10% uh, of universities in total that use Qt. Not that I have all the concrete numbers for that. But I think that's good, and it can be more. It will become more. These are some of the examples of some universities that uh, that use Qt for teaching. Uh, some of them will uh, be speaking here, but in addition, we have some guys from uh, Technical University in Munich that are uh, there. <laughs> and uh, I think also from EF EPFL, that's cool, yeah, that you know here, yeah. So as you see, uh, I think the reason for me to show this is really that there are so many uh, different courses that use Qt. And uh, as you see on the top there at Oxford, it's used in a class for teaching C++ for mathematicians. Uh, it's used in many C++ courses, of course, since it's tied to 
due to strongly tied to C++. Um, but also, yeah, medical engineering courses, embedded systems, and of course, mobile. So. When it comes to, to sort of support materials and support <coughs> infra infrastructure, we have, um, these are sort of the areas that we've been focusing on. Course material, networking tools, newsletter, and um, also we have a discount for CUTE certification. So um, I think I said enough about the course material for this talk, but uh, networking tools we have, uh, or, um, I can't remember exactly now, but over the past year we've had, we re mm, launched the developer network, DevNet, uh, on developer.cute.nokia.com. And, um, and there you can find a forum, of course, a general forum, but there is a, a specific forum for Qt in education there. And I encourage you to take part in the discussion there. There's also a wiki where we could develop things together in joint efforts uh, or gather information or things like that. Um, <coughs> there's a newsletter sign up also on qt.nokia.com where you can sign up for more information and I'll keep you updated on what's going on. And uh, the CUTE certification discounts are, if you are a member of the CUTE in Education program, that means that you teach CUTE or use CUTE uh, for teaching at your university or educational institution, you can uh, and let us know and, and uh, we are allowed to promote that on our web pages, then you are a member. So it's that easy, and <laughs> that difficult maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, um, then you get a 50% discount of certification. We actually have certification a test center here at Qt Developer Days. So if you want to go and try test your Qt skills, you're welcome to do that here. Okay, so... Um, any questions, any comments? No? <laughs> then let's move on. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah, um, well, yes and no. I, the way I see it, the, the universities are all over, and I don't see any real trend in that direction. It's Asia, it's in the US, maybe, uh, yeah, well, for m mobile, maybe th there isn't that much in the US, but for desktop and C++, there, there is uh, in the US. And, uh, yeah. We have uh, someone from Russia here, professor. We have uh, Asia, yeah, Asia, as mentioned, Europe. I don't see any real trend, yeah? Well, we're in US and we use QT for, for, for development and teaching. Right, thanks. I should also mention uh, that uh, we are recording these sessions, so it'd be really great if you, ha when you have a question, use the microphone. I'll try to facilitate that when I'm not talking so that uh, we can also record uh, questions and answers, or not, yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, so next is uh, my colleague here, Knut, community manager, and he will talk a bit about the trends nowadays. We just need to...